Well, that was easy work. Uh, Anthony Yard improves the 13 and 0 with 12 knockouts now. You know, you guys know that I basically cover 90 shit eight percent heavyweights on this uh, channel. But Anthony Yard is somebody that people have been sending me uh, links to his fights and just asking me about him. What do I think about him over the last few months now? So, ironically, over the last couple of days, I knew he was going to be on this card, and I've been checking him out, watching his training. Um, I heard that he only had, what, 12 amateur fights. Now he's up to 13 professional fights. He's 26 years old, light heavyweight. I see he has a number eight ranking by the WBO. He has this uh, WBO European light heavyweight title, and he picked up the vacant WBO uh, intercontinental light heavyweight title. He just dominated, um, what's this dude's name? Nema Zapata. He just dominated him, and he stopped him earlier than uh, Callum Smith and Anthony Durrell. He just chopped him up, man. The hand speed, the defense. Uh, there was even a point in the fight, he's, uh, the dude retired after was it going to the third round. There was a point in there, I seen Yara land a, uh, I think he landed like five right hooks in a row. And you could just tell by watching his style, watching his training, that he has watched a lot of Floyd Mayweather Jr. and a lot of Roy Jones Jr. And there's nothing wrong with that. 26 years old, there's nothing wrong with looking up to Floyd Mayweather and Roy Jones in the ring. Especially when you're just a natural athlete. Those two guys are natural athletes. Great fighters. Natural athletes to go on top of their work ethic and being great fighters and being God gifted. Yard is a natural athlete. Heavily muscled. And when you look at him, I initially thought he was a cruiserweight when I seen a photo of him. I'm like, that dude, he must be a new cruiserweight. He's a light heavyweight, man. And I'm trying to think, even back in the day in the 90s and 80s, I can't really think, man, of... Somebody that was this heavily muscled, not that muscle wins you fight, but he has a lot of muscle on him. And when you see him, you think, oh, he may be robotic and slow. No, very, very quick uh, reflexes, man. Impressive. You know what I mean? Impressive reflexes. Um, <laughs> one thing I noticed about his training, though, you, it's, it's a page right out, of, right out of the Mayweathers. Their mitt work is just like the Mayweather mitt work, or they try to mimic it. Um, just the way he trains, the way he likes to have fun in training. Like I said, you can tell he watched a lot of Floyd Mayweather. There's nothing wrong with it. As long as you're in there putting in hard work, if you want to kind of copy what Floyd uh, was doing during his career, training, hitting the mitts and hitting the uh, heavy bag and all that type of stuff, that's cool, man. As long as you work hard. But as far as him as a fighter, though, man, I want to see more. Right now, he's on a fast track. I just heard Frank Warren after the fight. They were talking about fighting... Um, What's the dude's name? Frank Buglioni, Bugliani, for the uh, was it the British world, uh, the British title, and they're trying to see if they want to, you know, go that route or just jump right into world level and taking on some of those guys. To me, he should he should go the British route. He really got nothing to rush right now, man. You know, you're only 26 years old. Seems as if he's getting better, um, in excellent shape, good reflexes, good defense. Like I said, man, when you watch him, you. I see Floyd Mayweather. I'm not saying he's Floyd Mayweather, but just his uh, ring mannerism, just the way he'll give you the left shoulder, he'll do the shoulder roll, the way he likes to, um, you know, line you up with his jab, kind of paw with his jab, keep you at the end of it. Boom, come down the pike with a straight right hand. He'll give you the, sh the left shoulder while he's trying to rip uppercuts. Uh, then, you know, like I said, he'll throw five left hooks in a row, a la Roy Jones Jr., um, He's doing those type of things right now. So he's getting by with strength and athleticism and just being a pure athlete, man. Just good reflexes. Again, just like when I did the uh, Daniel Dubois, um, to me, he's more advanced on defense than Dubois is. But just like when I was talking about him earlier, I want to see what happens when he's getting pushed back, when things aren't going his way, when the defense, you know, uh, when he's getting a good jab stuffed in his face or if he's getting a guy trying to overwhelm him with pressure or a guy that's a thudding uh, overhand right type of puncher or a guy likes to go to his body or he's getting pressed against the ropes I want to see him in those situations and we will we will because there's a lot of good talent at a uh, light heavyweight um you know I like what I see him on let's just look at box rig here man uh that's uh light heavy obviously um Adonis Stevenson and Andre Ward creme de la creme of the division but, you know, I, I want to see some of these other guys. I don't know what some of these guys are rated by the WBO, but I wouldn't mind seeing him 
fight like a Isaac Chalimba, um, Fonfara, uh, Marcus Brown, Pascal, Smith Jr., Vojdik, you know, guys like that, Sullivan Barrera, uh, as he works his way up. But I think he needs a, a few more fights just to get polished, just to get some experience, being that he only had a handful of amateur fights. You know, seem a little bit more polished, a little bit more experienced as he works his way up. But as far as just the eye test and looking at, at him as a prospect, I like what I see. You know, but we'll see when, you know, it gets rough. Because right now, you know, you can look great when you're fighting downhill, when you don't have much coming back or whatever is coming back, you can handle it. He's very calm in there, too. That's one thing that stands out is for him not to have that many fights. He's very calm, very uh, re relaxed in the pocket. He's very relaxed and calm, man. And, it's, you know, you can say, well, look at the competition he's fighting. But usually when you see guys that don't have that many fights, they're not that calm. They have like a nervous energy. Like if a guy gets close to them, they have nervous energy to throw all types of punches or grab. He's just calm. Placing right hands, chopping you to the body, straight rights, you know, down the middle. Um, good fundamentals, man. Good fundamentals. So I want to see more Anthony Yard, man. Just really heard of him the last, I've been hearing, I've been seeing the messages you guys have been leaving me, like I said, over the last months, you know what I mean? But I really got a chance to sit down and really uh, see what he's working with, man. And I like Anthony Yard. I want to see him mix it up. I don't, I don't think he's ready for the top of the top yet. I don't think he's ready for uh, the killers of the division yet. But we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. I definitely like what I see, though, man. Y'all, let me just think in the comment section. I'm out.